Hi, and welcome to Hooked on Guitar, the show that teaches you how to play guitar at home by playing along with me. I'm Dan Rao from Gunner Guitar Studies in Kitchener, and this is show number five. Tonight's topics include open position rock patterns and movable rock patterns. We will learn some common chord sequences, that is chords that go together, and we will learn a pentatonic lead scale. You may want to keep a pen or a pencil handy because at the end of the show an address will be shown where you may write in and receive a transcript in lesson form of tonight's show that will help with any questions you may have regarding the show as well as being a good reference for future practicing. Let's tune our guitars so what you play at home sounds like what I'm playing here. We'll start with the low E or sixth string. And the A or fifth string. The D or fourth string. And the G or third string. The B or second string. and the E or first string. Rock and roll blues patterns are a style of playing chords that I know it's used in rock, blues, and country music, and it's used to add a bit of liveliness, I guess, to your chord playing. For instance, if I was going to play an A major, a D major, and an E major with just straight chords, it would sound something like this. I transform that into a rock and roll blues pattern, it would sound something like this. So it sounds much more lively. Now this type of playing is uh, used in many songs. Um, for instance, Keep Your Hands to Yourself by the Georgia Satellites starts out with an A position rock pattern. Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress by the Hollies uses an E rock pattern. as Before You Accuse Me off of the new Unplugged album by Eric Clapton. So let's learn how to play these open position rock patterns. The, uh, the principal chord we're going to play, we'll start out with an A rock pattern, is when to put your first finger on the fourth string, second fret, and you'll play that and the open fifth string together. We're only going to play two strings. That is your principal chord, that is the A chord, and I'm going to call that second fret for later on when we actually play. Okay, we're going to move on, and the uh, variable note you can use is reaching out with your third finger to the fourth string, fourth fret, and play that and alternate between the uh, second fret and the fourth fret or you can add your fourth finger to the fourth string fifth fret. Okay, so we have principal chord, then we have fourth fret and fifth fret. And those are going to be the notes that are going to make up the rock pattern. 
and it could go something like this. We'll try and play each one twice, and it'll sound something like this. This will take the place of an A major chord. So let's try that at home. We'll start out with your first finger on the fourth string, second fret, and that'll be second fret twice with the open fifth string, then go to fourth fret, and fifth fret, and fourth fret, and back to second. And second, fourth, fifth, and fourth. So that is an A rock pattern, and it will take the place of an A major chord. If there was a couple of you playing, one person could strum a pattern with an A major chord, and the other one could play a rock pattern and they would sound very good together. Let's move on and try a D rock pattern or a rock pattern that will take the place of a D major chord and this is pretty well the same thing except we're going to move down a set of strings and play this on the open fourth string and the third string with our first finger on its second fret. So that's first finger, second fret, third string and the open fourth string. That is your principal D chord and the variable notes are going to be third string, fourth fret and third string fifth fret so that could be a, a D rock pattern and let's try that together we'll play second fret fourth fret fifth and fourth and again I'll slow it down a little bit this next pass and we're playing the uh, two middle strings the third and fourth strings so second fret put on this note here on the uh, fourth third string fourth fret and fifth fret and fourth and back. And that is a D rock pattern. It will take the place of a D major chord. Let's move on and learn an E rock pattern. Now this is going to be the exact same thing again, but we're going to play it on the sixth and fifth strings. The sixth string being open and the fifth string being played on the second fret with your first finger. So that is our principal chord. That is the E chord. And the variable notes will be 5th string, 4th fret, and 5th string, 5th fret. And we'll try each of those twice. 3, 4, 2nd fret, 4th, and 5th. Back to 4th, and 2nd, 4th, 5th, and 4th. That is an E rock pattern. We'll move along and we'll do a G and a C rock pattern. These sound the same, but they're fingered a little bit differently. To play a G rock pattern, we're going to put our third finger on the sixth string, third fret. Okay, And what you're going to do is you're going to mute out the fifth string. You notice that's not sounding at all. I've got the side of my third finger muting it out. And I'm going to play the sixth string and the open fourth string together. That is our principal chord. So you're playing three strings and only hearing two. That's the principal G chord. The uh, variable note we'll add is going to be on the fourth string second fret with your second finger and the fourth string third fret with your fourth finger. And those are the notes of the principal G and the variable rock pattern. Let's try that at home and we'll play each one twice again. So it'll be open, second fret, third fret, second and open, second, third, second. So this will take the place of a G major chord or a G seventh chord. Open position G chord. And the last one that we'll have a look at tonight is an open position C chord or C rock pattern that would take the place of a C major or C seventh chord and this is done in the same manner as the G chord except we're going to move down a set of strings and have your third finger on the fifth string third fret and you're going to mute out the fourth string and play the open third string as the other note in the principal chord so that is a C chord playing three strings and again only hearing two the variable notes are going to be on the uh, third string second fret with your second finger and the third string 
third fret with your fourth finger. So let's try each of those twice, starting with the open. Three, four. One, two, and three. Four, and. So that is a open position C rock pattern. I've put together a little song called Night School Blues, and this is in the key of A major using A, D, and E open position rock patterns. I'll play it once for you, and then we'll try it slowly at home. Three, four. last measure there was called a turnaround. It kind of ends the progression and sets it up to start over again. Okay, let's run through that nice and slow. We'll start with an A open position rock pattern and second fret, three, four. To fourth fret, fifth fret and back to fourth and repeat that. Once more. last time on A. And move over to a D rock pattern on the two middle strings. Do this twice. Fourth fret, fifth fret, and fourth fret, and once more. Go back to the A position and do this pattern twice. And once more. on the bottom two strings. Dip over to D on the middle two strings. And same pattern. And A. Oops. And the turnaround is you're going to play two A principal chords. Third fret on the sixth string. Two of the E principal chords. Then you're going to play open sixth. Third fret sixth. 4th fret on the 6th and start over again. Okay, I'm going to play that quickly through once more by myself and then we'll try it together once more. 3, 4. Try it slowly at home. Three, four. I'd like to move along now to movable rock patterns, those being a lot of the open position rock patterns that are available. Now a movable rock pattern is just what it says, it's movable up and down the fretboard. You can play in one position and it's one chord, and you can move it and it becomes another chord. So to play a movable rock pattern, you put your first, let's just try an F rock pattern here, you'll put your first finger on the first fret of the sixth string and your third finger goes to the 
third fret of the fifth string. And that's it. That's your principal chord. You play that. And your uh, alternate chord, or the alternative that you can add to there, is you're going to add your fourth finger way out to the fifth string, fifth fret. It's a big stretch, takes a bit of practice, but if you work at it long enough, you'll get that. So that's your alternate chord there. And the pattern that we could play there would be just twice with the root chord and twice with the alternative. Let's try this at home. It will be twice with the root and twice with the alternative. Nice big stretch. Okay, so that is how you play a movable rock pattern. Now we'll have to learn how to name it. This particular one was an F rock pattern, or it would take the place of an F major chord. Now we name this chord by the note that is being played on the sixth string first fret. So you notice for this F rock pattern, the note I'm playing is the first fret on the sixth string, so that is an F note. This is an F chord and an F rock pattern. If I moved it up two frets, the note that I'm playing on the sixth string here is the note G, therefore this is a G rock pattern and it will take the place of a G chord. Let's try another one and we'll do this one on the fifth and fourth strings. We'll put our first finger on the fifth string fourth, uh, sorry, the fifth string second fret and our third finger goes on the fourth string fourth fret and we'll play those two together. That is your principal chord. This is going to be a B rock pattern because the note that is underneath our first finger on the fifth string is the note B. So the root is B, the chord is B, and the rock pattern is going to be B also. Okay, so if you're going to play that, the alternate note is going to be way out on the sixth fret of the fourth string. So let's play the principal chord B and the rock pattern B. at home, it's a good, again a good stretch. Okay, some songs that use movable rock patterns are Move It On Over by George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. And I've put together a little pattern in the key of G using movable rock patterns myself. I'll play it once for you and then we'll try it at home. Three, Four. So let's try that together. We'll just run through it once and then we'll move on to some common chord progressions. So we'll start out with a G rock pattern. That is our root is on the sixth string third fret with our first finger and we'll put our third finger on the fifth string fifth fret and we'll play that twice and put on our variable note out on the fifth string seventh fret and back and we'll repeat that. and move down to a C rock pattern. We're gonna go down to the fifth and fourth strings and repeat the exact same thing. Once more. And back down to G. And once more. And go up to the D at the fifth string fifth fret is our root and the fourth string seventh fret and back down to a C, C 
slide down and repeat the same thing. And back down to a G on the sixth and fifth strings. And that is a little exercise using movable rock patterns. Now go on and learn some common chord progressions. These are chords that go together. So once you find a, a key that you like to sing in, you'll be able to find out the other chords that go along with the key because most songs are written around a series of three chords. I'll say most, not all, but I'd say a good many of them. So I'll start out with the key of E major. I'm just going to do a few of the keys that are common to guitar-oriented songs and in the key of E major your principal chord or the main chord you're going to use is of course an E major chord and there'll also be an A major chord and a B or B seventh chord so those chords go nice together if you'd like to play along with me at home we'll play E major four times then A major a B seventh chord Next, we'll move along and try the key of G major, or a song who, that is based on the key of G and the chord of G. So we'll start out with the G major chord. Play along with me at home if you would. G major to a C major and a D chord or a D seventh chord. principal chords in the key of G major are G, C, and D, or D7. In the key of A major, or a song who is based on the A major chord, you'll have the A major, of course, and a D major will be in there, an E major, or an E7 chord, and back to A major again. Let's try those at home again. We'll just play each one four times, A major. D major, E7, and A major. In the key of D major, or a song that is based on the D major chord, the uh, common chords or principal chords will be the D major, the G major, an A major, an A7, and back to a D major. So let's try that at home. D major, G major, let's go to an A seventh, and D major. And in the key of C major, the principal chords that you will find will be a C major chord. Play along at home with me if you would. C major to an F major, which we learned last episode. A G major or a G7 and C major. So those are just a few of the keys that are written in for guitar and some of the chords that go with them. You may want to try and play uh, those principal chords and put them to rock patterns and make up your own blues song. For instance, if you picked out the key of D major with D G and A in it, you could do a rock pattern with D to a G to a D, A down to a G, back to D. And you could make up your own blues song. I'd like to very quickly go over a pentatonic scale. Now this is a scale that's used for many solos in rock and blues guitar. Um, I'm going to show you how to play it in the key of A, and then if you can get a friend to play night school blues, you can maybe experiment and just kind of play the scale up and down and try and make up your own solo. So the pentatonic scale in the key of A, you'll start out with the uh, first finger on the sixth string, fret five, and up to the eighth fret, fourth finger. First finger on the fifth string, fifth fret, third finger to the 
seventh fret of the fifth string, first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, third finger to the seventh fret of the fourth string, first finger to the fifth fret of the fifth fret, I'm sorry, of the third string, and third finger to the seventh fret of string three, finger one on the fifth fret of string two, up to the eighth fret with your fourth finger, fret five of string one, and the eighth fret. So that sounds something like this. Memorize that and just try and make up your own little solos using a pentatonic lead scale. That's all the time that we have for tonight. Um, we learned some rock and roll blues patterns in both open position and movable positions, and we did some common chord sequence.